You know, I'm always fascinated how the dots connect. I've worked on three book projects where I photographed almost close to 600 people. So I'm always fascinated how one person gets me to the next who gets me to the next. And I found that you never know who you're sitting next to and you never know who you're speaking with. Through a friend in New York, I met this producer who worked on a film called Once Were Warriors. And the film was about Maori gang members. And their way of solving any problems is through violence. You know, they're known to kidnap police and um, it's just, you know, they're warriors. And um, so through this friend, ended up meeting one of, the, one of the people who were in the film who was a gang member. So fly to New Zealand and connected with him. Talked about what we're doing. He said, okay, I know where to go. We have to take a drive. And uh, there's a town where a lot of the gang members live who have dreadlocks and facial tattoos. Because obviously I was looking for gang members who had dreadlocks. So we get in the car and we were driving for hours and hours and hours. And we end up in this little village and Satan found this little motel in town to stay in. And he said, let me go into town and let me see if I could, you know, find, find some of the people uh, to photograph. So it was a few hours later, he comes back and he said, you know, I, I met some of the gang members and they said he would take us to one of the lieutenants and the gangs. We take this car ride. Next thing I know, I find myself in this little shack in the middle of the woods with these four gang members. How did I ever get myself in here? You know, and after a while, it started to get, voices started to get a little bit louder about, you know, what we're doing here and on and on. I'm thinking to myself, if anything was to happen to me now, there's no way I'd even come close to being found. So I don't know how, but two of the guys who were there, they had dreadlocks and they agreed to be photographed. So we get back in the car and I said, follow us. We're gonna be, we'll take you where we wanna be photographed. So we get in the car and we're driving on this path. And it didn't seem like really a path that cars travel on very often because as we were driving, we we're hitting branches to the trees and kind of like driving through the woods almost. I'm thinking, where are we going? I'm thinking to myself, now I'm starting to like, starting to get a little bit nervous. We finally end up on this beach. It was probably one of the most beautiful beaches I'd ever seen in my life. It was extraordinary. It was, it was like I had died and went to heaven. I was not expecting that. We probably spent about five to 10 minutes photographing that. I think I shot maybe eight frames, nine frames, and he just said, okay, that's enough. I did get some, some photographs taken, not what I wanted, but I did get a few. So anyway, go back to this little motel and um, the guy we were with, he said, you know, let me go back into town and let me see if I can find some other people. And he said he found one of the higher ups of the gang and he found out that we were here and he said, he said, it's best that we left town. And he said, I think we should. So what did we do? Quickly packed up our bags and drove out of town.